here is a vise that I have on a Harbor Freight mini mill and I'm going to show you how to square the vise to the table to make sure that it's in line with your travel. Now the vise originally I got from Harbor Freight for about 20 bucks. It says rugged cast iron and it was very rugged. The vise was about 40 thousandths out of square. So I ground all of the surfaces on the bottom and the top and then made newer, bigger jaws to fit and they are much more square. It's within about four tenths of a thousandth now. So about a hundred times more accurate. Anyway, um, when we're mounting the vise, we need to make sure we're mounting on the fixed jaw, not the adjustable. Because the adjustable wobble a little bit and that's okay. Whenever you first put your vise on, you need to make sure that the bottom of your vise and the top of your table are both clean without any dirt. There's lots of chips and dirt underneath the surface, but that's okay as long as the top surface is clean. If you rub your vise against your table and you feel a grinding, that means there's dirt. It should be smooth gliding. Once you have that and it's bolted down, um, just snug up the bolts a little bit, not too tight. And that will allow us to use a mallet like this to tap it in either direction to straighten the top here. In order to make sure it's straight, I have an indicator set up in my spindle. And we're going to make sure that this is in line with our table travel. So with your indicator, um, just come up to one of the edges of your vise jaws and move forward until it gets to zero. And I'm gonna lock my table there. And then travel all the way along to the other side of the vise. You can see the needle is coming down farther and farther. That means it's not straight. If it were straight, it would stay at zero the whole time. You can see it's a little over 0.3 millimeters. Um, my indicator measures in millimeters, um, but in inches, each line is about four tenths of a thousandth of an inch. So that means the vise is farther forward on this side. It's angled like this. So we just need to tap it um, in this direction about half the distance. So we started at just over 30. So I'll go just over 15. And I'll go ahead, unlock the cross slide, set this back to zero and lock it again. And now travel back over to the other side. So it's about a tenth of a millimeter out now, and I need to tap the same direction. Again, about half the distance. And then I'm going to set this back to zero and come back over to this side. Looks like I hit a little bit too far. And now the indicator is not moving at all. That means it's past the travel. So I'm gonna hit this other direction. About there. And keep doing this until this, the needle stays on zero the whole time.
That looks pretty good. The needle's still on zero. It's still wobbling. The needle when I'm moving is wobbling, but that's because the whole table is wobbling a little bit. It's only about a thousand. Um, I could adjust it down here in the gib, but I'm gonna leave it alone for now. That's pretty straight. So I'm going to tighten it up. Just tighten these bolts. And now I'm going to check again, make sure it's still in the square. And across all five inches, it looks like it's at least within a thousand if not less. So that's square. And I'm also going to check and make sure that this surface here is parallel to our table. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and lock, unlock this, move the indicator out, and then move the needle up about here. I'm going to expose as much of the surface as I can to check it, and then lower my Z until it hits the surface a little bit. Now it's on zero. I can travel along here to check and make sure that it's still parallel to my table. And it looks like it is across in this direction. And in this direction, it's also looking very parallel. Still on zero, or very close to it. And this side is also still on zero. So that means our surface within at least a thousandth is parallel to our table, and our vice fixed jaw is perpendicular or parallel to our travel and perpendicular to this travel within about a thousandth. And for what I need to do, that is accurate enough. So that means my vice is parallel and perpendicular to my table. I hope you found this video useful, and I hope you can use some of these same techniques uh, if you need to indicate your own advice onto a mill table. If you did find it useful, make sure to like and subscribe.